You're watching What's Trending from Playlist Live, brought to you by Married Hotels. Joining me right now is Gabby from The Gabby Hola. Show. Oh, hi, guys. Yeah. Why did you decide to do uh, like name it The Gabby Show? It's like almost like your talk show of your life. What's funny about my name, when I was a kid, and still now, I have really bad ADHD and like kind of anxiety, so I, I get really weird in public, which people think I'm just like being funny now, but it was really weird in a, in a regular setting to act the way I act. Uh -huh. So um, kids would make fun of me, and they'd be like, oh, here comes The Gabby Show. <laughs> And it really hurt my feelings a lot when they called me that. So I used to um, get a camera at this camcorder when I was a kid, and I didn't really have a lot of friends. So I would like take it to the mirror and I would say, welcome to the Gabby show. And that was like my thing. So now it's like the Gabby show and we have to you. You know what I mean? <laughs> How do you decide what types of content you want to do on YouTube versus Vine and keep it up and keep right. it growing? Um, so I, when I first did my YouTube channel, I figured it was going to be kind of extended versions of Vine and send, extended sketches kind of thing. But I really found my voice on YouTube to be very different than Vine because Vine is more of like sketches and punchlines, whereas on YouTube I found that my niche, I guess, is telling stories. So it's very like personal and I have a very weird life. And it was actually Jenna Marbles who first told me. She was the one who really helped me find that voice because I told her a story at my first Playlist Live. Huh. And she was like, Gabby, and it was her and Julian. She's like, you're really good at telling stories. You need to make this a video. What are you doing? Wow. And that was what kind of launched my channel was when I started doing that. And just listening to her. Who else do you look up to on YouTube? And, um, and Vine. Yeah, so Jenna's a huge one because uh, she was the first YouTuber that I really started consistently watching and obviously the first female to really break out and be that yeah. voice. Everybody knows Jenna, I don't have to get into it. Um, and Bo Burnham is huge for me. And he doesn't really YouTube anymore if you don't know who Bo Burnham is, but he's like my inspiration, he's my idol because he started on YouTube and now he doesn't really do YouTube anymore, but he's following his dreams from YouTube. Yeah. I think that's amazing. So I really look up to him, really look up to Smosh just because they're like the OGs, very obsessed, like fangirl. When I see them, I can't breathe properly. You have these happy camper vines. <laughs> Is it easier to come up with vines when you have a set format and characters? Um, I actually, for the long time, had a hard time finding a format and a character, mm -hmm. but what happened with Happy Camper was there was this emo character that kept um, coming into my vines because I was like super kind of emo for a long time. You were? And you were dark? You have no idea. I can kind of see it. MySpace.com slash Gabrielle with seven <laughs> eyes. And now you'll see some no shit. No way. Yeah, so she was a real character. And um, the first Happy Camper vine I did wasn't actually Happy Camper. I kind of redeveloped that idea. Mm -hmm. And it was the joke where... It was, um, if you were fruit, what would you be? And I was a tomato because I'm not actually a part of the group. And that was something I said for real in a, an icebreaker group where they asked us the question. Everybody was like, I'm a blueberry because I'm small and I pack a lot of punch. I'm a pineapple because I'm kind of rough on the outside but sweet on the inside. And it got to me and I deadpan said, I'd be a tomato because nobody really accepts me as a part of the group. And I was dead serious. Thank you, Gabby. You have been great.